Hello everyone, Pastor Greg Pufal here. I just have a couple of announcements before getting into the devotion for today. And that has to do with an event that's coming up, not this week, but next week, Saturday. It's our sledding event that we are going to try to do. We haven't been able to do a lot of, of youth events. And as far as youth and this event is concerned, it's youth of all ages. So you can bring your grandparents as well, college students, high school students, everyone. Uh, just meet here at church on the 20th at 10 a.m. for a devotion and some hot chocolate. And then we'll go out and do some sledding together, just a little social uh, fellowship event. Also that weekend, uh, just to let you know, you can put on your calendars, we have a special weekend planned for worship as people from Camp Philip will be here to lead us in worship and to help us to understand more about Camp Philip, which is just our, our neighbor in Watoma. And finally, just a reminder about next week is the start of Lent with Ash Wednesday on the 17th. We'll have two services at 3.30 and 6.30 p.m. Those days, those services will be the same. You know, today is an exciting day for school because it's the last day of the week. They have Wednesday through, well, Sunday off. And some people take this time to travel to warmer climates just to, to get a little break from the winter. But then next week is also a very exciting week. And I know I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here, but next week is called Spirit Week. And every single day, if you can recall when you were in school, that maybe they had some days where they were called Spirit Week or whatever it was, crazy dress-up days. And every day you could do something different, whether it's, you know, dress in your school gear or dress like somebody else, like Twinsy Day. Still looking for someone who wants to be a twin with me uh, for that day next week. But I was thinking about that day, Twinsy Day. And I was thinking that would people know if you dressed up the same, that you were trying to be a twin to someone else? You know, my, my children, and I'm sure every ch child loves to have dress-up days, especially when they're young. And you think about the times they go trick-or-treating and they want to dress up and they want to wear certain clothes so that they can go around and people can guess who they are. Now, if you've ever dressed up or if you've ever tried to guess what people might be, have you ever been wrong? Did you ever look at someone and think, okay, this is who you are dressing up to be, only for them to tell you, no, that's not even close? Or a twin day next week. And you're supposed to be a twin with someone else, but maybe you didn't dress the same or someone can't guess that you are, in fact, a twin to somebody else. Now, why do I bring that up? I want to read a Bible passage to you. It's from Galatians, Galatians chapter 3. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. I wonder, if you were to go and ask your neighbor, your friend, your family member, whoever it might be, who you look like, would they be able to see Christ? Would they be able to see the fact that he, you are clothed in Christ, you are twinning with Christ? Maybe there are some days. But if you're like me, then there are many other days where that's not the case. In fact, Christ might be the last person someone would guess that I'm trying to twin with. But you know our twin, Jesus, he doesn't give up on us. Even though that we give in to sin, we don't look like Jesus. We don't look like we're clothed in Jesus. He never gives up on us. And for every single sin, he has an answer. The blood that he shed on the cross for you to take your sins, my sins, away. And it's not so much that we are trying to twin with him, but he wants to twin with us. He is the one who has given us that robe of righteousness. He is the one who has clothed us in him, in himself, in his righteousness. He made that choice. And he goes to the nth degree to make sure that we are constantly clothed with him. His forgiveness, his love, his grace, his mercy. So that... In the end, all will see we have been twinning with Christ. Or rather, 
He's been always trying to twin with us. Let's close with prayer. Dearest Lord Jesus, we are to be dressed in your robe of righteousness, covered from head to toe in everything that you have done for us. And yet so often if someone were to look at us, they would maybe have no clue because of the ways that we have acted and the sins that we have chosen to do. But we thank you, dearest Jesus, that you have given us your love. And at the beginning of that passage, it talks about that baptism, the baptism that washes all of those sins away so that all that is left is your perfect righteousness that clothes us every single day until the day that we are in heaven with you. So help us to reflect your love to others. Help us to be able to work in this world so that others can see your love and want to be drawn to you as well. We ask this in your name. Amen. Have a blessed day.